Welcome back to Google Developers Weekly for January 28, 2014. I'm Lewis Gray, and this is our highlight reel of what's happening in the world of Google Developers on the set and off. Starting the week's festivities, we head to London, where Mano Marks invites GDE Stephen Gray, no relation so far as I'm aware, to show us how he added ground overlays and weather using the Maps SDK for iOS. Steve's app uses a tile overlay to tone down the map styling and remove map labels, giving a nice and clean background for weather data. But the Maps team wasn't done with a single episode here on GDL. Paul Saxman covered the basics of adding markers to your map using the Google Maps Android API v2. So don't miss either show, Geo developers. We then head up the road from our main campus to the Google San Francisco office, where Chrome guru Peter Lubbers hosted the San Francisco HTML5 user group. This week's event focused on WebGL. Peter also put on a microphone to be part of the second office hour session for Udacity CS256, joining Chris Wilson and Sean Bennett to tackle questions around lessons four and five in this fast-paced mobile web development course. We record every single one so you never fall behind. We then invited open source maven Kat Allman to the studio, who interviewed Googler Jeremy Allison to talk on the Samba project, the standard Windows interoperability suite of programs for Linux and Unix. And our studios aren't open to just Googlers. Mamie Reingold interviewed four young coding members of DIY.org, an online community for kids to learn skills, discover cool projects, and meet other awesome kids. Hear how they learn to code and get inspired. And up in Seattle, where they know just a thing or two about clouds, Lawrence Maroney and Brian Dorsey of the Cloud Platform team took questions on what cloud means to customers and how Google offerings could get even better. From New York, Ibrahim Ilokaya took a look at best practices for YouTube's APIs on iOS, including YouTube Direct Lite for iOS. Then Amy Quisby and Eric Lichtenslag took the time to walk through the new Google Mobile Ads features in Google Play services and explain how to migrate away from the standalone AdMob SDK. The Google Glass team took some time recently to experiment with games on Glass. The games are quick and fun, and we hope they inspire our Glass developers to start their own projects. Go to g.co slash glass minigames to find out more. And Dart Flight School is coming soon. You can learn Dart at one of these awesome events taking place around the globe. You'll learn Dart and get to explore great frameworks like Polymer and Angular. Go to dartlang.org and search for Flight School to sign up now. And every year, Google Coden finds amazing teenage programmers from around the world and awards them a four-day trip to Google in Mountain View. This year's 20 winners have been announced, and you can read about them on our blog at googledevelopers.blogspot.com. Congratulations to the 20 winners and the hundreds more who entered. And to make sure that you never miss a thing from the world of Google Developers, subscribe to Google Developers on YouTube and check out the GDL schedule at developers.google.com live. I'm Lewis Gray, and I'll see you in the studio.